Hi, my name is Mary. Today FM plays the best music in Lambasa. Today FM rocks. My name is Thomas. I'm here in Nakasi and I like to listen to Today FM because it's rocks. And my name is Milinia. Today FM rocks here in Singatoka. My name is Alkriki and Today FM rocks here in Tawa. My name is Mary Jane. I love listening to Today FM here in Bath. Today FM rocks. My name is Ilay Tiambal and I love listening to Today FM. Today FM rocks here in Osur. Today's hit music on Today FM. In the news tonight, TC Mona downgraded to a Category 1 system. Fijians need to adhere to warnings, says Minister. And police on 24 hours standby. From the studios of FBC Suva, Amrita Sagar. Tropical cyclone Mona has weakened and downgraded to a Category 1 system. TC Mona is currently moving eastwards and should track southeast towards Fiji in the next 9 to 12 hours. The center was located about 380 kilometers north northwest of Yasawa Ira or about 460 kilometers northwest of Lambasa at 1 p.m. today. TC Mona is moving east northeast at about 10 kilometers per hour. On the forecast track, the center is expected to be located about 330 kilometers north of Yasawa Ira or about 390 kilometers northwest of Lambasa at 1 a.m. tomorrow morning and about 190 kilometers north of Yasawa Ira or about 180 kilometers northwest of Lambasa at 1 p.m. tomorrow. Damaging winds are likely to begin several hours before the cyclone center passes overhead or nearby. And now we cross live to our West reporter, Felipe Naikaso, who will tell us more about TC Mona being downgraded to a Category 1 system. Yes, Amrita, despite tropical cyclone Mona downgrading to a Category 1 system, Fijians around the country will still feel the effects from the system. And I have with me here a Mr. Amit Singh from the Fiji Meteorological Services, who will explain more on tropical cyclone Mona's downgrading to Category 1. Mr. Singh, what happens from now and what can people start feeling the effects? Yes, Sir Felipe, in the past 24 hours we saw this uh, system uh, slowing down and making a clockwise turn as it was expected. However, we, we saw a delay in the, the time it took to make a loop. Uh, it uh, actually started to turn uh, more east-southeast uh, early tomorrow morning, but it was predicted to turn last night. Uh, this has delayed uh, the expected time it will make uh, or come closer to the main islands of uh, the Vanuatu uh, island. Okay, in the next uh, 24 hours so we see the system continue to move in a east-southeast, then taking a southeast uh, turn, uh, moving more towards the Fiji group, and uh, being a Category 1, and uh, making or very, coming very close to Vanuatu around afternoon into the evening tomorrow. Okay, as uh, there is uncertainty with the track, there is uncertainty with the timing as well. If the speed picks up, it could come earlier than uh, afternoon, or if it delays or speed is less, it will come in the uh, late evening. But expect the forecast is the same, expected to cross Banwalevu, uh, the western part, uh, tomorrow afternoon, and uh, head towards the south east, uh, south southeast, uh, moving very close to Ovalau, and moving further south and uh, passing just uh, east of uh, Kandavu. Mr. Singh, thank you very much for your time. Thank you, Felipe. Amrita. Thank you, Felipe, for that. Now, with Tropical Cyclone now degraded to a Category 1, Minister for Disaster Management, Johnny Usamate, says people should still take heed of the warnings. Usamate says the Tropical Cyclone alert is still in force for the whole of Fiji. And he also says many areas around the country will experience heavy downpour from tomorrow and they need to be cautious. Usamate says low-lying areas will get flooded and the parents need to monitor the movement of their children during this time. If there's a landfall, it's still estimated for to tomorrow. People in the northern division have to be very, have to be, you know, be on the alert and also people on the coast of Viti Levu and the islands around, um, around Lomai Viti where the forecast track is. The police force is currently on a 24-hour standby as tropical cyclone Mona approaches the Fiji group. Chief of Operations ACP Maritino, Maritino Giolevu says as they gear up the, for their preparations, Fijians should also do the same. Senia Niboila reports. With a little over 100 police officers currently on 24-hour standby due to the adverse weather, 
The police chief of operations says they will also patrol evacuation centers when gets activated. Our officers will be going around to uh, patrol the evacuation centers, monitor whatever that is happening in the evacuation centers, and provide assistance if required. And AC Pingyole was pleading to members of the public to avoid risking their lives by going out to flooded areas. Please refrain from uh, playing with uh, water, especially in the rain. Eh? Flood uh, areas, uh, please refrain from uh, crossing rivers, uh, also from uh, moving around okay, in places where uh, now that it's normally flooded, eh? uh, low-lying low, low lying areas, eh? and uh, as well as um, you know, abide or adhere to the uh, instructions or the advice given by authorities, and also try and uh, keep tap or listen to the advice by radios, okay? and also uh, from the um, uh, from the police as well. Eh? Police is also urging motorists and mariners to be vigilant during these rainy conditions. Sainia Nimboila, FBC News. Well, still to come, 20 roads closed around the country. And two men remanded for murder charge. Details after the break. Bula, never go Malakai Leloma, go in Nakas, on the Wagarong, and Bula Fib, Nabondo, and a city. Oh, yeah, was it says, Lombasa? Fijians around the country are preparing themselves for what tropical cyclone Mona brings with it. Some have secured their homes since this morning, while others have evacuated to safety. Anna Ravula reports. Despite tropical cyclone Mona downgrading to a Category 1 system, Fijians are still preparing for the worst. We are just monitoring uh, throughout the Nava River, and uh, if it's worse, then we'll move high ground. I have to check the roofs of the house and all to prepare for TC Mona if it hits tonight. From my experience, this area hardly gets flooded. Other sites get flooded soon, so I haven't thought of going anywhere for now. I already secured my house uh, for a moment and preparing for the food and everything that we need in cyclones. Eh? For some in the Suva area, it's all about being proactive. We came here to Nremba Primary School yesterday, and even though our home at Korova Settlement isn't flooded, we were advised to evacuate since we live near the shore, and there is about 62 people here. Prime Minister Vorenge Ban Marama visited these evacuees and were informed of their status. Fijians have been out to various shops to stock up food and other items needed before Tisi Mona makes landfall. Anna Ravulo, FBC News. The Fiji Roads Authority has confirmed that Queen's Road and King's Road are both open to traffic. Due to flooding, many roads in the central, northern and western divisions were restricted. Nine Vinda crossing on Lutu Vuisinga Road in Neta Siri is now open to traffic as it was previously restricted to single lane due to partial washout. Queens Road at Talenaua and Aseri Road Junction in Korovo have been reduced to a single lane due to a landslide. And Kings Road is reduced to single lane at Nangia due to a rock fall. The FRA confirms as of 4.30 this afternoon, 20 roads have been closed. FRA is urging the public to please take all the necessary precautions and adhere to the advisories from relevant authorities. The Fiji Women's Crisis Centre says six women lost their lives to gender violence in Fiji last year. It says, according to the National Survey, more than 60% of women who have been in intimate relationships have experienced physical or sexual violence from their partners. Kritika Kumar reports. The non-governmental organization intends to visit Maritime Islands this year to tackle the issue of domestic violence. So, you know, we're going to go and uh, you know, do some community mobilization, awareness, um, setting up committees in various uh, districts so that they themselves can take some responsibility and start responding themselves. And Ali says women need to be empowered so that they can come forward and report. I think we need to uh, create a safe environment for them 
and that can only be done if we go out in the community, do the community mobilization, get people on board, and particularly uh, religious, traditional leaders, advisory counselors, and so on. Meanwhile, Permanent Secretary for Women and Children, Dr. Josefa Corribueta, says the government is working with relevant stakeholders and has undertaken progressive work. We will need to do much, much more than what we have, we have done. I know that we have uh, started to shake you know, the platform uh, for which uh, the patriarchal society has uh, strongly rooted about the issue about uh, gender inequalities and uh, that uh, we need to make uh, a big impact on changing the uh, gender mindset. The ministry plans to strengthen the governance mechanism this year that they have for all the women and will push for gender and social inclusiveness. Kritika Kumar, FBC News. Two men facing murder charge were denied bail by the civil magistrate's court today. Apisai Lamani and Leone Naisake are alleged to have caused the death of Philippe Loloma in Wailelia Farm in Kandavu. The incident happened on Boxing Day, where the duo are alleged to have engaged in reckless conduct of assault, resulting in the death of Loloma. The court denied bail on the grounds that murder is an indictable offence. The two have been remanded in custody and will reappear on January 18th. Ahead in sports, Vodafone Fiji extends sponsorship with Fiji FA. And flying Fijians captain praised by brief coach details after the break. Dollar, I am Eleanor. For the best classic kids, I only listen to Gold FM here in Singapore. Gold FM, only the classic kids. My name is Yeni Rawa. I love listening to Gold FM here in Osuri. Gold FM, only the classic kids. My name is Dino. I'm from Outrigger, Coro Coro, Singatoka. I love listening to Gold FM, only the classic kids. My name is Salote. I love listening to Gold FM here in Osuri. Gold FM, only the classic kids. Bula, my name is Mariva. Gold FM plays the best classics here in Outrigger, Singatoka. Gold FM, only the classic hits. Fiji Airways Fijiana 7's coach Sayansi Fuli is working on changing the team's culture and set a firm game pattern ahead of the Sydney 7's next month. Fuli says he will utilize the remaining weeks in trying to change the mindset of the players to move away from going into the tournament just to make up numbers. He says their aim is to win all their games in Sydney and move up the ladder as they are currently placed 11th on the standings. We have to train hard in the next three and a half weeks and, and uh, try to set that right mindset for the girls, that is to play and, and win every game. Continue the cycle of attending every tournament. So we change the mindset, we change the culture for them to play competitive and play winning, winning rugby. Fiji Airways Flying Fijians captain Domenico Wanganiburotu has been tipped by coach Jeremy Davidson for a promotion to the top 14 with Breve and quarterfinal qualification for Fiji at the Japan World Cup. The former Ratu Kandavulevu school student took over the captaincy from Akapu Singera for the November series, which led Fiji to a historic win over France. According to Rugby Pass, that milestone hasn't distracted Wanganiburotu's mission of getting back into his club following their relegation last May. Davidson says Wanganiburotu is key to their promotion plan, even though he has started from the bench in four of his ten club appearances this season. The 32-year-old is now in his seventh season at Breve. Fiji Football Association received a boost to kickstart 2019 on a grand note as major sponsor Vodafone announced a $5.5 million sponsorship last night. As Meli Tavanga reports, the sponsorship further strengthens the strong partnership between the two stakeholders. The Fiji Football Association will now be able to continue carrying out its development work around the country after receiving such boost. At the same time, help develop the game of football which every kid loves in this country and every adult and every young children loves in this country to play. The Vodafone Fiji Chief Marketing Officer reaffirms their alliance with Fiji FA to take the sport to the next level. Together we have seen many great achievements. Uh, the under-23 uh, team going into the, uh, into the Olympics, the under-20 going into the uh, World Cup, 
and now the women's team, uh, team doing wonders and uh, uh, really they are on their verge of uh, really entering one of the uh, uh, the recent, uh, recent World Cups, which is uh, a great achievement for the women's team. He adds our youngsters now have the opportunity to shine and pursue the sport further in primary and secondary schools competitions. The sponsorship which was signed by the two parties yesterday will end in 2023. Meli FBC Sports. Manchester City has reignited the English Premier League title, racing race ending Liverpool's unbeaten track in a game packed with drama yesterday. New Zealand basketballer Stephen Adams is in the thick of the voting for this year's NBA All-Star match in Charlotte, North Carolina. A gale warning remains in force for Yasawa and the Mamanuda group and the western half of Vanua Levu. A heavy rain warning remains in force for the whole of Fiji. Taking a look in the west for temperatures, cloudy conditions with brief showers and thunderstorms. And eastwards from Pacific Harbour to Suva, there were periods of rain, heavy at times and few thunderstorms were experienced as well. All the way up north, it was fine apart from afternoon or evening showers and possible thunderstorms. Now at sea, northeast to southeast winds 25 to 30 knots, rough to very rough seas are expected. For the tides, high tide will be at 7.53 a.m. with low tide at 1.53 a.m. Sunrise will be at 6.36. Now for tomorrow, periods of rain, heavy at times and few thunderstorms are forecast. And as we look further onto Monday, fresh to strong force winds are expected. There will be periods of rain, heavy at times and squally thunderstorms. Recapping the main stories, TC Mona downgraded to a Category 1 system. Fijians need to adhere to warnings, says Minister, and police on 24 hours standby. For these stories and others, you can tune in daily to our sister radio station, Gold FM. On to our poll question segment, and this week we're asking, do you think you will keep your New Year's resolution? Visit our FBC website to answer. You can always send us newsworthy pictures and videos on email fbcnews at fbc.com.fj or share it with us via our Facebook page FBC News. You can also follow and tweet us your news tips at FBC News or hashtag FBC News. And that was your FBC News for tonight. Until next time, good night. Hi, I'm Jyotishma. I'm from Singatoka. I love listening to Mirchi FM. Mirchi FM is hot. Singatoka Mirchi FM is number one. I'm Charlene Robert. Mirchi FM rocks in Lombasa. I'm Sona Me, Nasori Jackson. Mirchi FM is hot. My name is Raymond Dutt. I'm in Bubble Singer Line. Mirchi FM is hot in Lombasa. I'm Pritika from Jacks, Nasori. I love listening to Mirchi FM here in Nasori. Mirchi FM is hot. Mirchi FM is hot.